Zoe Quinn has a new book out, and I'm sure people are just overcome with excitement. Happy to announce my first DC book, a horror one-shot. I wonder what the name of it is. And then DC has an announcement, uh, except they don't include the name either. A little weird. Let's see what people have to say. I mean, Goddess Mode was such a massive success. I think it went six issues, and the last few issues are selling 5,000 issues. It's not, not very good. I mean... I would think if you were down to 5,000 copies, that's like Mags or Sajio territory, you wouldn't be getting a, a new book. But whatever, whatever. You know, failing upwards, that's fine. Sounds fair that you got someone forced out from what they passionately love doing and drove them to suicide while a big-name company gives you an opportunity at a superhero comic book. By the way, where's the money for the game you promised everyone? Odd. Odd that... She allegedly took money for a game that she didn't produce. I mean, who does she think she is? Anita Sarkeesian? Tess Holliday? Sean King? Gonna give this a hard pass like the plague you are. DC Comics is bullying someone until they kill themselves part of the hiring process. Is that just a thing you have to do to write for DC? Who has the highest kill count? Scott Snyder, Tom King, is Zoe the current champ? Well, Marvel has calling Sobolski racist till they get hired, and DC has this. Oh, yeah, what was that, Wong? Wong was calling someone she planned to work for a racist repeatedly, over and over again. And so what the company did was gladly hire her. Sobolski, I don't know if you have a kids or family you got to support or whatnot but if there's any way you could have left that company you should have looked for an exit opportunity company hired someone who repeatedly called you racist on social media and you think well well I mean, what was the accusation was he was racist no he used a japanese pen name to write japanese fiction perfectly normal and acceptable guess what there's no such thing as cultural appropriation it's something the cultural Marxists invented to divide us. But when a company hires that person, that, that means they don't like you very much, but they don't like you enough to not to fire you. Hopefully no one in the comic is scared so much he commits suicide. I hope it burns. Murderer. Hard pass. Fitting title for you. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Will you finish it before or after jail sentence? <laughs> Unburnt witch, indeed. She got a man killed. Oh, nice. I'm not buying that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anyone will buy it. Because here's the thing. The people who say congratulations and looking forward to it and all that kind of stuff, they're not going to buy it. How do I know this? Because they didn't buy goddess mode. Because Goddess Mode wasn't very good, because it was written by a borderline personality disorder sociopath who doesn't think other people are actually real. Good thing it gets scanned like everything else. I can read it without paying a goddamn cent for your content. You don't even want to read it. It's not even, I mean, you can get Goddess Mode for free online. It's not worth reading. It's literally not worth your time. Hard pass, pass. I'm excited for this, but you won't buy it. All these people who are excited for comics. <laughs> I'm buying two copies just to say F you to the Gators. No, you're not. No, you're not. That's the beautiful part. Right wingers always protest things, protest buy things to burn them angrily, give you money to the very thing they claim. Doesn't make sense. He's buying, he's on the left, you idiot. He's buying it to, um, to support her, you moron. <laughs> God, these people are dumb. They're so dumb. But we're highly educated. You can have a PhD in feminism. That means you're dumber than someone who doesn't. Getting uh, getting degrees in feminist theory or um, any one of those very, very left-wing degrees, it may, literally makes you dumber. When you go to STEM... You learn how to learn. When you study uh, the far left ideology, they don't teach you how to learn. They teach you what to learn. 
Uh, this comic is going to be great. Um, okay, well, you know what? After it comes out, why don't you show, buy the comic, and uh, move the needle. Move the needle. Put it on, uh, put it on your social media. So all these people are just saying, badass, congratulations, congrats on your continued success. They're not going to buy the comic. They're just supporting her because they vaguely feel that it's feminist to support her. Or it's a left versus right issue. It's not a left versus right issue because both her and the guy, I'm sure he's also on the far left too. And here's the thing I was thinking of. He's not the kind of guy who would stick up for other guys. But we're sticking up for him because we believe in the principles of due process. That unfounded accusations against a mentally ill person that resulted in his suicide was the proximate cause of his suicide. Those things need to be prevented. If someone kidnaps you and, and sexually batters you, you need to call the FBI or your local, whatever, Canadian mounted police immediately. You don't wait five years and go on social media and say, I was kidnapped? That's insane. You're telling me it didn't happen. Do employees ever do background checks anymore? Um, this project was probably way before that. <sighs> Is it Katie at one point or higher? Oh, great. This comic is going to fail, just like your game development career, and her IDW career, and Vertigo career, and Marvel career. So you're going to kill a fictional character next. Wow. This is awesome. You're not going to buy it. You know you're not going to buy it. Well, you know what? I The first issue, or I guess it's a one-shot, so maybe maybe some people will buy it because they only have to invest for one $4 comic. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how many people buy it. Must really dis dislike DC Comics. She has a habit of indirectly killing things. Yeah, add it to my pull sheet. Can't wait. We'll see. Nope, nope, nope. And please just stay away from Batman. I love that literally every one of your replies is negative. That's a good thing. Yes, she's a horrible, horrible person. You should be in jail. This looks so dope. I can't wait. Okay, when you then buy it and post it. Not as dope as her murdering a man and then spinning it to make her into the victim. So DC lost in movies to Marvel. Looks like they want to fail in comics too. <laughs> Manslaughter. Yeah, that's probably the, the most correct term. Is the manslaughter. Adam Ellis. You unbelievable soy boy. Oh, speaking of soy boys, that reminds me. I'm about to show you the the king of soy boys. Reactivated, not really back. This is one and only thing I have to say publicly about the past few weeks. Love and healing to those affected. Garbage for the opportunist Nick Creeps. Uh, she reads this weird um, manifesto. Basically, she uses a saying where when women get attacked on the far left, when they get called out for the bad behavior... She'll say like you're. She'll say it's misogyny. You're attacking all women. The only reason they do this is a manipulative technique to get uh, the crowd on her side. Because all she has to do is say the word misogyny, um, or say racism, and people will automatically flock to her side. And make it like a left versus right issue. Um, okay, people are supporting her. People are supporting her. Don't know what this is about, but I hope you're okay, Monica Lewinsky. Sweet. You don't know what this is about. Maybe you should look into it a little bit. I'm still here at least. Thank you. You did not just say that. These people are so full of shit. It's coming out their fucking ears. Okay. Here's the soy boy. Get ready. Get, strap yourselves in. Strap yourselves in. It gets bad. Danny says, So sorry. Take care of yourself. You have my sword. Um... <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> you should say what? You have my... You have my sword. And my axe. Um, yeah, well, you know what you can do with your sword. You can shove it right up your candy ass. Normally, I'd say... In Minecraft... Normally, I'd say she won't touch your dick, no matter how nice you are, but this is a different circumstance. She probably will, bro. 
Yeah, um, she probably will. She's a filthy, degenerate whore. And you say, whoa, what kind of hyperbole is that? Call a woman a whore. It's a, isn't that defamation per se? You know, old-fashioned common law. Call the woman a whore. It was, damages were presumed. Um, yeah, but you know what the defense of defamation is? The truth. Well, allegedly she's a whore because she slept, allegedly, with a um, game reviewer for good game reviews. Hey, I don't knock her. I'd probably do the same thing myself. But, uh... I mean, assuming there was a, I couldn't make a game that would sell on its own, an entertaining game, a fun game. Allegedly, she slept with game reviewers to get good reviews for her garbage games. So, yeah, that would make her a whore. She's exchanging sex for goods or services. And it's not just an honest exchange of sex for money, like an honest whore would do. It's, um... It's malicious because it's it's kind of fraud by deception because she's given a dishonest review. So what he's doing is he's committing fraud to deceive people spending their hard-earned money to buy a game that he says is good. But the only reason he says it good, it's good is because he's getting topped off by Zoe Quinn, who five years ago she was a little bit skinnier and a little bit better looking. She's kind of gained some weight since then, and now she just looks like kind of a chubby mom. Though, dear God, I pray to God that there she will never be a mom. She's in her 30s now, so she only has a few more years. Um, then she will take said store sword and ram it straight through your back once she's done with you. <laughs> Look what he made me do. Soy. You have my soy. You white knight pussy. You absolute bleeding twat. She has my finger? Yeah. Yeah, oh, she's a horrible person. All that for a drop of coochie. Okay, you can go look up her nude photographs on DuckDuckGo or Start Page. She's very mediocre. She's very, very mediocre. I'm not, I mean, if she was your girlfriend and she had a great personality, you would be all up in that. You would love it. But combined with her sociopathic tendencies, no, that's not... If she was, if she looked like Paris Hilton 15 years ago or whatever, maybe you'd date her for a few months. But she didn't. She was never, she was just mediocre, always mediocre. Jesus, why would you give her access to something else she could kill people with? White Knight Chronicles 2, Electric Boogaloo. Hey, um, those movies were great. I remember those movies. Breakdancing was cool. She won't ever ride your sword, and even if she did, prepare to get me too and suicided. Yeah, whenever I hear a guy offering his sword, I just think, is he talking about his penis? Don't forget the shield and the shovel. Please say what I think you're going to say about the shovel. Yes, you did. <laughs> is the shovel to bury the corpses of the people Zoe bullies into suicide? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, people. Oh, son, there are some funny... MFers on Twitter. Not everyone on Twitter is a blue pilled simp. Danny wants to be her next victim. I mean, lover. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Is he bothering you, Queen? Yeah, get your fedora on. Let's see what this guy has to say. Uh, so he uses the N word. Um, okay. Do you like being a simp? I mean, settling for mediocre pussy, and why don't don't settle for mediocre pussy? It's the only thing he knows how to be a beta boy, white knight. How white knight armor works? You have my sword, magic breastplate allows him to swallow his pride and check his privilege. Friend zone shoulder padding, nice and soft for the heads of women who will never sleep with him. Please don't ever be in the friend zone. Don't just don't do that to yourself. Just go. Start jogging and start eating way more vegetables. Coochie hits different, I understand. I will not condemn you for your cringe, but employ you to better yourself. It would be the death of you, man. I will condemn you for your cringe. I will. I have my sword, my lady.